Hey everyone, Hugh from Plaguelands Media here, bringing you another board game playthrough, the fourth scenario in the Rise of Red Skull campaign for Marvel Champions. This time my Captain America aggression deck is going up against uh, Armin Zola, who, in my personal opinion, I don't know between him and Claw are the two most fucking annoying villains in this game, although to be fair I haven't really played um, the Wrecking Crew or actual Red Skull all that much. So uh, yeah, enjoy. But before we get to that, I just want to address something. That fucking prick who uh, thinks it's funny to ooh put crazy filters on the video and talk in a really low voice and call themselves film editor Hugh from the future or Red Hugh or whatever the fuck your fucking name is. You know what? I know your gimmick, dude. I know your gimmick, so just fucking stop. Look, I can put a crazy filter on the video as well. Ooh, look at me, I'm all crazy filter and I can't speak in a deep voice because I'm a fucking moron. <laughs> See, dude, it's not that fucking hard. Oh, come on, man. That's fucked up. This is my fucking thing. Just give me this one, you fucking son of a bitch. You know what? Fuck you. Okay, you want that to be your fucking thing? That's fine. Just don't fuck with the videos anymore. People don't like you. Okay? I think you're kind of funny. I like your pets from the future. They were kind of cute. Especially the one dressed up like Batman. Other people don't like you. I've heard comments, dude. I've heard rumors. Just fucking stop. Okay. Truce. Let's just call it a truce. This will be it for a while. I'll, I'll, I'll back off, I'll back off. Just stop it with the filters. That's my thing, not your thing. That's my fucking thing. Truce. Okay. We'll call it a truce. You leave my videos alone for a little while. Maybe I put in a good word for you with some of the ladies I know. Well. Okay, I don't really know all that many ladies, but uh, I get a lot of spam emails about dating sites, so maybe I can give them your name. Okay, no. I just realised what I'm saying. I'm not going to do that either. Just cool it down is all I'm saying, dude. We're just here to play games, have a little bit of fun, you know. We don't need your shit. And I know you enjoy your shit, and that's fine. But just, you know... Tone it down a bit. Dial it down a bit. Nobody likes a crazy filter face fuckwit. Just saying. With that said, you can hit the like button down below. Hit subscribe to the channel to see more gaming content and uh, pretty much anything else I feel like doing. You can follow us on Facebook, you can go to our website www.plaguelandsmedia.com You can check out Ian Van Gamut on Instagram, you can go to Redbubble, look up Darth Moot, get some awesome merchandise. Even go to Amazon and check out our ebooks, you'll be able to find them in the Kindle store. So without further ado I'm going to raise a glass to Perhaps one of the most annoying villains in the Marvel Champions card game universe to date. Fucking Armin Zola. I'm going to say cheers. Let's get this fucking shit to the table. So here we are with scenario four of the Rise of Red Skull campaign. So as usual, we will start with the little comic book you get. Uh, let's see, what's going on Taskmaster? How did Hydra conquer New York City? 
It's not just New York City, babe. Wow, that's fucking rude. Hydra rules all of America now. Madam Hydra bought Zola the reality stone, then the doctor used it to put Hydra in charge. Where is Zola now? He set up his shop on Ellis Island. Rumor has it he's doing weird experiments there, trying to develop the perfect soldiers for Hydra. And then Iron Man says, I've heard enough, let's go get him. But of course, Captain America is the hero, so there we go. Zola, God, I fucking hate this guy. Having defeated Taskmaster, you learn that Hydra has not only captured New York City, but all of the United States. It was the mad scientist Armin Zola who built a machine to harness the power of the reality gem and tip the balance of power in Hydra's favor, as per usual. He has created a research station for himself on Ellis Island and turned the historic port into a nightmarish prison for his unfortunate test subjects. Taskmaster was ordered to bring the heroes he captured there for experimentation in this upside-down America. You are the only hope... The captives have to escape this horrible fate, so we have the villain deck, the main schemes, and the encounter deck with Zola's set under attack and standard. Okay, so we have done our setup with all our cards, the keywords into play, and we've put the experiment in uh, the villain deck. So. Let's have a look at Zola. Two scheme, one attack, and retaliate one. 12 hit points. And then we'll look at his other side when we get to it. Okay. So we have Hydra Prison, and we have our ultimate bio servant that will be attacking us in play. Six threat to flip this scheme and after resolving step one of the villain phase which is adding threat place one test counter here if the three or more test counters discard cards until a minion is discarded put it into play and remove three test counters from this scheme it's really fucking annoying okay hydra prison side scheme into play starts with one threat when revealed, each player searches their deck discard pile on hand for a hero-specific ally. In our case, it's Agent 13. And places it face down beneath this scheme with an extra three threat on it. So Hydra Prison will have four threat. If we don't get Agent 13 back, if we don't defeat that side scheme, then she's gone for the rest of the campaign. We have our ultimate bio servant, one scheme, one attack, four health, toughness, and attachments will give it plus one attack as well. So let's put a toughness on him. Of course we have our laser cannon, our basic thwart upgrade of course. 13 health. I'm not going to go over Captain America, but I will shuffle the hero deck one last time. You should know by now um, Steve Rogers and Captain America's abilities if you have been watching this uh, Rise of Red Skull campaign. If you haven't, go back and watch scenarios 1, 2, and 3. Okay. Sorry for bumping the camera so often, but that's what happens when you're a tall, gangly turd. Okay, shuffle the villain deck. Give it a cut. And of course, the most important thing for this game, a glass of Jack Daniels for when Captain America throws his shield. So let's draw our six cards. Avengers Mansion, Super Soldier Serum, Hulk, Tigra, Captain America, and Shield Toss. Captain America's helmet and Shield Toss. I'm going to ditch these two. 
to draw a shield block and endurance. Okay. That's fine. Captain America's shield. I have not changed the deck since the first scenario, so I won't be going through uh, deck construction. I keep meaning to. I should have put Relentless Assault in for this scenario, but uh, I just forgot. So I'm just going to go with... Okay... Let's pay two to put Tiger into play because of his ability. Let's flip to Captain America's side. Um, Let's attack for two to get rid of this toughness. Let's get rid of shield toss to ready, attack for two, and attack for two to get rid of the ultimate bio servant. Because she got rid of a minion, she heals. I'm ditching Hulk to put my shield into play and I'm holding on to Super Soldier Serum. Okay, let's just switch those around. Draw. One, two, three, four, five. Power of Aggression, Heroic Strike, Fearless Determination, Counter-Attack, Super Soldier Serum. Okay. One threat on the main scheme, one counter. He is going to attack for one. I will take it. Deal one damage to each character you control. So I'll take two. And Tigra will take one. And my encounter card is Test Subjects. Two threats. When defeated, the first player discards cards until they discard a minion. Alright. Okay. And that comes in with two thread on it. Okay, I'm going to play Fearless Determination to give myself plus one thwart, and I draw a card. I now have... Uh, three, four thwart. Okay, when defeated, remove this scheme from the game and return each ally to its owner's hand. So I get back Agent 13. I'm going to get rid of Agent 13 and Counter-Attack to put Super Soldier Serum into play. One Two, three, to do a heroic strike, dealing six damage to Zola and stunning him. That was an attack, so I take retaliate damage. And he is stunned. And... Tiger is going to thwart for a one. Okay. Zola should have taken retaliate damage last turn from my shield. Remember, I took one damage. 
So Zola is down to five as well. Okay. Nick Fury, Braun, Heroic Strike, Sentry, Steve Rogers Apartment. Okay, one threat on the main scheme, one counter, he would attack us but he is stunned. Now in counter card is Mind Ray. Zola attacks you, you are stunned, fair enough. He's going to attack for a one, two, three, bringing me down to seven health. He takes retaliate damage, putting him down to four. Okay, I'm going to attack to get rid of stunned. Use one to bring out Steve's apartment. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to pay Sentry to bring out Steve's apartment. Then I'm going to use one, two, three to play Heroic Strike, dealing six damage to an enemy. I use the Strength resource from Super Soldier Serum, so he is also stunned. That will drop him from 4 to 0, which means moving him to his next side. Retaliate 1, which I have to take. Oh, no, I don't actually. Uh, do I? You know what? I'll take it just in case. I think I defeated him, so I don't take it. Uh, but I'm not too sure about that, so I will take it just in case. When revealed, search the encounter deck and discard pile for test subject side scheme, reveal it and put it into play. Fair enough. Test subjects side scheme. Shuffle the encounter deck. comes in with two thread on it. This means I'm going to get extra encounter cards this turn. He is stunned and he has 14 health which is not too bad. Okay. Tigra is going to thwart for one takes her out. Okay, the first player, when defeated, the first player discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until they discard a minion, reveal that minion. This is where things are going to go to absolute shit. Not a minion. We have another ultimate bio servant with toughness. Um, We're going to get one more minion from here and two encounter cards now. So I think I've done messed up. I will stay in uh, hero form for one more turn, I think. Dealing combat training, skilled strike, shield block, power of aggression and counter-attack. Okay. One threat goes on there. That is our third counter. Okay, if there are three or more test counters here, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a minion is discarded. Nope. Nope. 
we get Zola's Mutate. Two attack, one scheme, five health. When revealed, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until attack attachment is discarded and attach. Okay, no. Okay, here is a tech upgrade. Attach the minion. Attach this card to Zola's Mutate. Okay. Plus two hit points and retaliate one. So he has seven hit points and retaliate one now. Fantastic. Okay, so that was that. He is stunned. So he doesn't attack. He's going to attack, dealing one damage to me, but um, putting me down to five. But I have toughness. Uh, I have retaliate, which gets rid of his toughness. And he is going to do two damage to me. Putting me down to three health. Now we draw two encounter cards. Fantastic. Concussive Blast. Deal one damage to each friendly character. Three to two. Okay. Berserk Mutate with uh, three health, but he has Quick Strike, which means he's going to attack me straight away. Which means I will use Shield Block to prevent all of that damage. Otherwise, I will be dead. Okay. We are going to spend Power of Aggression to put Combat Training into play. So I now have 3 attack. We are going to spend a Strength Resource to put Counter Attack into play. I am going to attack. We are not going to do that actually. We are going to hold on to Counter Attack. I'm going to thwart for three. I'm going to discard counter attack to ready. I'm going to uh, use this to give me plus two attack for a basic attack. I'm going to swing in for five. Bringing him down to 9 and bringing me with Retaliate down to 1 health. I'm going to use my laser, dealing 5 damage to the villain and each enemy engaged with me. Bringing him down to 4, getting rid of you. Getting rid of you. He is on two health. That wasn't an attack, so I don't get the retaliate. I'm going to flip. Going to draw a card and heal back to two. Thanks to uh, Steve Rogers' apartment. And that will be my turn. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One thread on the main scheme. He's going to thwart for two. Shuffle Zola's Mutate in as three. Uh, thread on it. So 
So all those mutate is going to scheme for one. Now we have to draw two encounter cards. This is where we could bite the bucket. First one, Ultimate Bio Servant. Comes in with toughness. Second one, attach to the minion with the most remaining hit points without another copy. Okay, so that would be him. He is now three scheme, three attack, and uh, six hit points. Okay. I'm going to use Steve's apartment to draw one card and heal. All right. I'm going to flip over. I'm going to attack for two, getting rid of toughness, plus two hit points, okay. I will discard Helicarrier to ready. I will attack for three, bringing him down to three. And now, shield toss. I'm going to discard one, two, three cards. Discard X cards from your hand, then return Captain America's shield to my hand. Deal four damage to X enemies. That's four damage to three enemies. Taking out the mutate. Taking out the bio servant. And taking out Zola with three health remaining, of course. Captain America threw his shield, so you know what that means. And there we go. I win with three health left. But I no longer have my laser cannon. So that is gone. For good. Okay, let's check our victory conditions. Each player engaged with an enemy records that they are. I'm not. The Hydra Prison Scheme is not in play. I can replace my basic hero upgrade with the improved one, which means after I defeat a side scheme, I can exhaust this and draw a card. Okay, that was scenario four, uh, Armin Zola. I really fucking hate that guy. We have one more um, scenario to do in the Rise of Red Skull campaign, and then it's done. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.